is the second day of firearm season in Missouri, and Seth and I are in a redneck blonde on the edge of a food plot we call Back Door. There are cedars cut to the west and south, another food plot and a bedding area to the east, and a bedding area and acorns to the north, so we're just in a hub. I'm not necessarily hunting the food plot as much as I am, we're just in the middle of a bunch with an opening where we can see. But we've been seeing a few deer stop and take a bite in these plots. The rut is absolutely on. Had a nice situation yesterday where a good buck chased a doe about 50, 60 yards from a blind on a power line we're hunting. Just kind of come on through. And then two other younger bucks cut that trail and went right after him. So it's all about where the receptive doe is right now or catching a buck between does. You won't be able to see a long ways. Let that Winchester reach on out there, so it's about 19 this morning. I don't know if we're seeing much right off the bat, but when it warms up a little bit, deer are going to be moving to find some calories. We'll keep you posted on how this morning it unfolds.
side of his rack. He's really got the potential to be something, so he's getting a pass. He was pestering a doe that's obviously receptive, stayed with her for a minute, so... I've shot her. We need to take some does, for sure, so... I've shot her, hoping to drop her, but she ran just behind this cedar. Should be a really good attractant for other bucks, or maybe even does that come in the field. It's early on, about 7.30, 7.45, and the sun's finally got to the blind and warming up, so... Should be a really good morning hunt. Fun seeing all those deer, but no way this little food plot system can feed all these deer, so we need to remove some mouths and versus taking young bucks. I'd rather take those to balance the amount of mouths we have with the amount of groceries we can produce. show this morning. We've had apparently a couple different 
perceptive ghosts go through, I shot one because we need to harvest does and as an attractant. And then we just had a really nice three-year-old, I, I believe it's three-year-old eight point, no, probably a two-year-old, and a younger deer, but yearly, push another receptive doe through here. So at that time, we had some young bucks down the other corner. I mean, we're just, I've lost track, 12, 14 deer, pretty much all rut-related behavior. We did have a doe and two fawns that were just trying to feed out here, but young bucks chased them off. So nine o'clock, we're probably on until at least 11. And the rut is absolutely on. There's a lot of does receptive bucks are pushing. And if you're not where a receptive doe is, it's probably a slow morning. But if you are, you're probably seeing a lot of action like we've been seeing. This is kind of a travel corridor. Not only is there a green spot, there's a bedding area right behind us. And a bedding area up here. So a lot of deer in the area. And you notice, you probably can't tell cameras are 2D, but if you're sitting here, this food block drops off about 10 feet right in front of us. It's a, a roll down. And along the bottom of that lip, it's just a travel corridor. Deer just like to travel back and forth across there. So had the redneck in the right place and seeing a great show this morning. Keeping the windows shut unless we're needing to film or stick a barrel out. And with the windows shut, we're out and almost all are sent in. So we're not getting busted. We're just seeing a pile of deer. They don't even know we're here.
almost 11 and Seth and I are gonna hop out the redneck here pretty soon. We had an awesome morning, saw a lot of deer and a lot of bucks, three years old and under, a lot of bucks and had a couple of receptive does that appeared based on a chase and come through the area. I shot one of the does, the first one, missed the shoulder a little bit and I believe she just ran about 40 yards. I didn't know if I saw her go down or not, but a lot of those bucks have come from that area. so. Really confident she's laying right in there. I need to take some does off the ranch here anyway. And if you harvest a receptive doe early during the hunt, it's most likely gonna draw a lot of bucks in the area. I believe that's what we witnessed this morning because they've just been kind of circling. We've seen deer up, down, and sideways. And I think when you set these rednecks, keep the windows closed, you just get away with a huge amount. I don't think a deer has busted us all morning long. And, and we've had deer, you know, literally all around us that behind us in timber. I don't have been able to see there. So just a little hint. If you've got a receptive doe, you know, a, a buck dog and a doe, and it's not the buck you want to harvest, and you need to take does off your property, you might take that doe, hopefully drop her or leave her close. That just will be an attraction throughout the hunt to bring other bucks in the area. We're going to back up and climb down pretty soon. And 